Hello everyone, this is Raven with Twisted Sisters Mojo and today's pick a card is Are my co-workers talking shit about me behind my back and if so, why? Let's see, are your co-workers talking shit about you behind your back? I certainly hope not, that would really suck, I hate it when that happens but unfortunately it does seem to happen people just can't do their job and shut up let's see what we got you know the drill by now I'm going to lay out four piles you pick the one you want pile one two three or four one two three or four and we will see if your co-workers talking shit about you and if so why if you pick pile number one um you got the five of coins right side up you got the knight of wands right side up and you got the hermit right side up well, yeah, I would say there's a little chatter going on. Part of it is some of them are jealous because you got a recent uh, either raise or a bit of a promotion. And you have a tendency to kind of keep to yourself and do your job rather than do a lot of socializing at wherever you work. Now, that's all well and good because, you know, you're not there usually to make friends. You're there to work, get your paycheck, go home, do your business. Um... If you feel it's because you can be a little bit, not standoffish, but quiet and reserved, then maybe you can make more of an effort to um, socialize with people a little bit. You know, not fakely, but, you know, if you can honestly do it, then then try. If it's just not in your nature, then don't force yourself to. But, you know, the only reason, well, I've got to stop saying, you know, the only, re you know, the only reason they're doing that is just a little bit of, um, part of it is jealousy and part of it is they just don't know how to take you because you are reserved. They don't know how to perceive you. So they make things up and that's what you have if you pick pile number one. I know Deja never talks about me at work. <laughs> Bitch runs your mouth all the time. If you pick pile number two now well, this doesn't look pleasant you got the death card upside down you got the ten of swords upside down and you got the two of swords upside down now if I was just doing this on a yes no perspective uh, everything's in reverse and I would say no however that's not what I'm feeling here um, I feel like you have somehow intentionally or unintentionally ticked somebody off at work and you're not even aware that you did it. With the two of swords with the eyes covered, I don't even think that you're aware that you even said anything. And, I, and honestly, I don't think it was that big of a deal. But it seems that this person is was just looking for a reason to be irritated at somebody and you won. And because they're going through hell and they're trying to... And it's not really as bad as what they're making it. Because they, they're going through a difficult time in their mind, they want to make themselves feel better by making you feel bad. So don't fall into it. Just ignore it. You know, if you want to, if you feel the need to apologize, go for it. But I don't see anything that you did that requires an apology to be honest they got the death card in reverse so there are some hardcore changes going on with the ten of swords in reverse as well and there's some things that they just can't break free of going on with them right now but you were unaware of those things and your happiness and joy you deserve that and I'm sorry that they're not having that but that's not your fault nor your problem so them taking things out on you because you're happy and them not well they just have to get over it suck it up buttercup thank you if you pick pile number four no this is three god uh how attached are you to this job you have nine of s swords right side up Ew. you have five of wands upside down 
and you have the nine of wands right side up. Honey, you are in a den of bitches. <laughs> and not in a happy way either. Good God. Even people that pretend to be friends there really aren't. They would slit each other's throat just to see what pattern the blood made on the floor. Good God. Yeah, and it's not just you that people are talking about. They're talking about everybody. So don't feel too bad. It's not just you. It's every Tom, Dick, and Harry that walks through the door is getting nailed. No one is safe, safe from this. Um, like I said, if you're not really attached to this job and you can find something else, uh, try to. Because this is not a healthy place to be. This is an unhealthy mental environment and it will eventually break you down. So if you got to deal with it, get you a mirror, put it in your desk drawer, facing shiny side out, and knock that negativity out, get you some hematite, keep it in your pocket, do what you need to do. I don't know, burn some sage or something, get some sage sprayed. If that don't work, get dragon's blood. But try to keep your little area as positive and as happy as you can because there's nothing else going on around you that is in any way, shape, or form happy. So if you got number three, God, I'm sorry. And if you pick number four, good God, where do you guys work? You got seven of swords upside down. You got the seven of wands right side up. And you've got the six of swords upside down. Um, well, I can look at this in a, in a fairly decent light now that I'm seeing it. Yes, it had been going on, but I think you handled the situation pretty well. And you let people know that you are not going to put up with any BS. And you're not going to tolerate any of this crap. So I think you pretty much put people in their place pretty well. Good for you. You should do that. People should always be open and upfront. Like my mom always says, the truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. So if you piss some people off by telling them the truth about yourself and letting them know what you will stand for and what you won't, then good for you. Um, it looks like this situation could get a bit better because people know where they stand now. Just, uh, just remain on your guard, especially if you are in a position of authority. You can't let your throat be bare for a second because they will dive on you like a pack of wolves on an open can of stuff open can of tuna, man. They will go for you. But, like I said, it does look like you've taken care of the situation. So, if you pick number four, yeah, they were, but you got it handled. This has been Raven with Twisted Sisters Mojo. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and I look forward to seeing you again.